Episode 50. Episode. Episode 50. 50. Is 50 a major milestone? I don't know, but we're there. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to episode 50. We've gotten a lot of work done in 50 episodes. And I'm, I'm going to celebrate. We're not doing anything super special today, but... Hey, go me for reaching this point. It's It's been almost a year since this series started. Hopefully next year I can crank out more than 50 episodes. Uh, I have been going at a higher pace. But today we're going to start off the episode with just a little bit of caving. And I am trying to light up this place as well as I possibly can. Let's, let's go over here. We have to go everywhere, not just down. We're not just looking for diamonds. I am lighting the entire place up so that nothing can spawn down here because in the center of our jungle temple, we are going to put a a, uh, a mob spawner type deal, a mob dropper for getting mob drops, in particular bones and, and gunpowder and that good stuff. So we're also going to see what we can get down here. I'm pretty low on iron and whatnot and i'm gonna need even more when we put up our second beacon i don't have enough iron or anything for it so we're gonna run around and light everything up as well as possible can you spawn there not anymore Since we're down here and don't have too much else to talk about, let's take a moment and look at the past 50 episodes in review. So, those of you that have not been with me or have not gone back and looked at what we've done, it all started in a swamp town that is still not finished and was sort of a a warming up, uh, a warm up. Yeah, that's the word, a warm up. Uh, just, just to learn how to how to record and do that all that stuff at a decent quality that I was happy with. The worst part about these ravines now is I'm gonna have to go up and light up all these little ridges. Nothing can spawn in here, nothing at all. And I, on these wide hallways, I gotta go back and forth, make sure that nothing, no dark spots in the corners or anything. And then I'm gonna go back and look at what we missed and there's some gold every time that i go down a dead end i am going to wall it off that's a pretty good technique if you want to light up an entire cave because now i can go down this way and when i backtrack i'm gonna know exactly where i don't want to go and then it'll pretty much lead me down one way because this place is branching off in quite a few directions let's go this way that lake town was inspired by both Riften of Skyrim and also uh, I believe it's also called Lake Town in The Hobbit. The project is far from done and we'll probably have to go back to it. And after that I was not quite feeling it. I wasn't motivated to build there anymore. There's some flaws with the design of the town. So I ended up going to the farming town which we recently moved on from which is almost done. We gotta go back and do some some finishing touches and whatnot. The farming village is probably one of my favorite builds I've done. It's my first real crack at building an actual organized town in Minecraft. And after that, we decided we needed to mix it up a little bit. Gosh, this cave is very complicated. I want to I wanna end up in dead end so that I can box them out and, and get a better sense of where I am. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So after the... We, we decided we needed a little bit, something to keep us fresh, maybe have a few projects if we ever get tired of this. Then we can go back to the farming town and and get some pro projects done there and mix it up a little bit. And that's what we did. We ended up in this jungle biome. So if you don't know what we're doing here, this is a town that is up in the treetops. It's, it's like yurts, Google yurts, uh, but in the in treehouse form. And I really like it so far. We're, we're getting there and we're working on the temple and stuff. There's a temple and there's going to be ruins below. It's going to be really cool. Whoa. 
Apparently over my break, my hiatus from YouTube, I forgot how to YouTube. I've just recorded quite a bit of work and never hit the record button. Whoops. Uh, that's fine, though. We can go over everything that we missed. Um, Where do we want to start? Okay, so I don't think you guys have seen this. I finished caving, or I should say I finished this session of caving. This cave was a pretty complex one. Caves are not as big and complex or common as they used to be. Big complex ones are not as common as they used to be, I should say. And this one is one of them. I don't know how much of it I actually got to, but I lit up a good bit of it. If I were to start a mob dropper, then it would probably work. It would definitely work, but we'd have to, like, you know, the more that we light up, the more efficient it's going to be. So this is some of what we grabbed. I've already put some of it away. I've already smelted some of this iron. There was these four slots had full stacks of iron, so we had eight and a half stacks of iron. This is all the gold that we found. We only found nine diamonds. Even with, with Fortune 3, all that time that I spent down there, that was a little odd. And then there was over a stack of lapis blocks. So we did pretty good there. On a side note, though, do you notice anything different? Does it look really good around here? Does it look less choppy? Does it look foggy, fancy graphics? Yeah, we are officially in 1.11. Which means Optifine. Optifine is out. Shaders are out. That tree. I need to cut down that tree. That is one ugly tree. Um, Shaders are out. So we're going to be playing like this for the most part. I love the feeling of this fog. I could have this fog a lot longer. But my video FPS while recording like this with fancy graphics with like really long... My recording frames are now better than my not recording frames without the Optifine. So it made a huge difference because I'm getting like 100 frames per second with the fancy leaves. And I wasn't even doing that with with uh, without recording before. But let's, let's take a look at our uh, shaders just to see what it looks like around here. I am probably going to use them for... For, for like cinematic shots here and there. So we have our our light choke pick, which is not going to be as intensive. And it's closer to, because we're in a jungle and the fancy leaves, it's pretty intensive. But that's that's what it looks like with the light ones. The medium to high, on the other hand, are pretty stunning i just can't really use them <laughs> because they're they're pretty rough on this computer but you know the holidays are coming out maybe maybe a computer upgrade is is in the works i don't know maybe i do Shh. it's a secret anyways let's go up here and take a look at one of the things that i did that didn't get included i added a ring up here and there's another thing over there but we're going to talk about that later I added a ring up here. I started to fill it in right here. And then I decide not to because I don't know how far out the next tier is going to come. And the next part up is going to be like a decorative wall, I think. And it's probably going to come out to add depth. We don't want it on the same plane as the pillars. You want You want varying depth. So I ended up just doing that. Next thing that we're probably going to do is add the floor in here on this first floor and then add the mob dropper i need i need to go find uh what are they called ocean temples are they called ocean temples i want those lanterns because i want that bluish color in this build i think that'll look really good so i might have to go find one of those soon this is the building that i made today though so oh no <laughs> Let's hope that I don't miss that, because that's my last one. All right, so 
so far we have only built this style of houses that are all the same all these ones are the same except for the fishing hut and now that we've got this down i kind of want to add variety in there so there's one every every once in a while that sticks out this needs a window don't say that we didn't do any building on camera today even if i screwed it up just i just removed a block this is a too tie too tie too tall building and i really like it this side isn't that appealing but if you come over here we have stairs up to a second tier this is cool you can look out oh yeah i really like this let's go into creative if i can reach around my mic game mode nope oh, oh i still my backspace key is still broken so i still have a hard time backspacing it looks really good, especially when we look over on this side. This balcony thing right here is really cool. We could experiment with maybe having those go all the way around, but I think it's really cool that it's only on one side. It's something to play around with. Different styles, different sizes. It's all going to come together, and they don't have to look gorgeous, each one. These aren't like... These aren't focal points of our build. They're just interest points, sort of. So, this is going to be the focal point. <laughs> uh, next thing, also, on this, I was looking at it. There's going to be wings on each side of it, basically to house those. They're not going to be huge, but they're going to house them. Because there's one here, and then I have skulls for another. And that's going to go on the opposite side. That's probably going to come out about here, so that's why I'm not building any houses right here. But I did set one up to be planned right here and then we could probably move over here and do these trees and then there's probably going to be a big entrance right here and i have plans for it kind of got to work them out it's going to take a lot of wood i think the only wood in the build is going to be the entrance i think you'll see you'll see anyways guys i'm sorry that i screwed up screwed up 50 episodes in, and I still don't know how to record. Don't know how to press that record button. But we got some work done. The caving took quite a bit of time, and I feel good about the amount of lighting up that we did. Let's turn up the render distance here. Take a look at what what it looks like. Yeah, that Optifine. Oh, hello, frames. Oh, yeah, rendering. That Optifine is so much better. Oh, yeah. I enjoy it. Anyways, I hope you guys liked the episode. If you got any ideas on on unique buildings like that that we can throw in, I'd love to hear them because because we're gonna have to keep coming up with ideas as as we go. Um, even if we have like four different ones, kind of like that, that we can sprinkle around here and there, like one of these styles over here, over here, over here, over here, and then have another unique style. There, 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 there. You know, that, that adds up quite a bit of variety. Uh, when you have this many houses, it makes a difference. Just something to think about. Final thoughts for that ep for this episode. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked it, then leave a like and subscribe. Bye.